Okay, so I'm possibly going to be running late. I think Tanika's coming to pick me up in like five minutes. I feel like a lot of you guys are gonna disapprove of this outfit, but I love it. I love a matching tracksuit. Fuck, I'm gonna miss you so much. Daddy's gotta work on his arms. <laughs> Watch out, Abby. You like being in this, don't you? Yeah, I've literally got to leave in like three minutes and she's gonna call me and be like, I'm out the front. I'm gonna be like, ha <laughs> ha. Just wait there for two minutes. I'm really nervous about today, to be honest. So I normally say no to like all photo shoots or like things that don't have to do with my own projects because I'm so busy shooting for like my active wear and doing my ebook stuff and making products and working on my cooking project. I normally say no to everything. However, I got this email from Bondi Sands, which if I fake tan at home, I will use Bondi Sands. I always have since, I don't know, year 10 or something. So I got this email from them and I kind of took it as an opportunity to embrace embrace my postpartum body. So pretty much it's like I'm doing a campaign with them with a bunch of other girls that shows my at home tanning routine. And I'm pretty sure I just have to like show them how I personally use their product because I really do use it at home. And I only work with brands that I actually love and actually use. So anyway, that's beside the point. So when I first read the email, I was like, no way, I don't wanna do that. Like I don't feel confident in my body right now because you guys know in the past, my body has been like super lean and my abs have been like popping and I felt really confident and lean and shredded and whatever. And then since having a baby, obviously your body changed so much. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do it. And then my friend Tanika, who helps me with like all my emails and just like behind the scenes stuff, she was like, I really think you should do it and show girls that you can embrace your body no matter what. And I was like, no, like I just don't feel ready. But to be honest, I don't think I'm ever going to feel ready because I'm never going to have that same body. My body has changed forever, which is totally fine. And I kind of agree with what she said. I wanna take this as an opportunity to show you guys body confidence and body positivity. Because you guys know, if you've experienced your body one way like the best it's ever been, you always accidentally and subconsciously and annoyingly compare your current present self to that body. And obviously now I'm not saying I'm fat and I'm not saying that I hate my body. It's just I don't look like how I used to look when I did like my fitness photo shoots. So I'm almost six months postpartum and this is the first photo shoot or the first brand collaboration I've really done that I have to like wear a bikini and be like more exposed. So I got the email from them yesterday that said everything I need to bring. So this is like a two day shoot and they told me I have have to bring a black bikini, some jeans and a white singlet. So I'm just gonna like show how I tan. But luckily yesterday I checked the email earlier in the day because I tried on all of my black bikinis at home and literally nothing fit me. So before I had a baby, I was an extra small, but when you get pregnant, your actual bones, like your bone structure transforms and never really goes back. So not only obviously at my higher body fat percentage, but my bone structure, like my hips are wider, my rib cage is wider. So I just went and bought a bigger size in a black bikini and I'm just going to try and rock up and just be happy and positive and confident because you guys know my mantra, one of my mottos in life is hashtag act confident and no one will question you. Like how true is that? If someone rocks up to a photo shoot or if someone rocks up to a party or your house and they just exude happiness and confidence, you don't question them. I love people who are just confident in their body and own their own body and that's what I'm gonna try to do today. My phone is ringing, I'm pretty sure that's Tanika. I feel like I should bring some snacks. Also, I had a massive breakfast because in the past when I would do a photo shoot, I would be like, oh my God, I've got to like get my abs out and I feel like I shouldn't have a huge breakfast. Literally worst decision ever because you end up getting so tired and fatigued and your blood sugar levels crash. No, I had a huge breakfast. I had some paleo toast, eggs, roasted turkey, like that deli turkey, some kale, had a coffee. Okay, yeah, my phone is definitely ringing. I'm gonna just make sure I have everything. I'm also a little bit nervous about my boobs because you guys know I'm exclusively breastfeeding Fox, but Kurt is daddy day caring today. I was gonna bring him, but we just don't know the studio setup and if there'll be like a room for him in case he's like crying and I'm shooting. So my boobs are probably gonna explode because I'm gonna go like four hours without feeding him. Like he's gonna get fed at home. Kurt will use yeah, the expressed milk. Yeah. My boobs won't get drained and it's not worth bringing my pump. Anyway, this is probably really boring. All I'm gonna say is in four hours, you'll probably hear me complaining about my engorged boobs and they'll probably leak milk everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna go into Nika's car now. What's up? Ooh, so I bougie. I told you it's a fat reveal. <laughs> Don't you think I look like a classic YouTuber in matching tracksuit in like a bougie car? <laughs> this is so not me. I'm just pretending that I'm cool, but I'm not actually cool. I don't usually drive a Batmobile. I love it. Just pretend you do. first scene I guess so I, I had to bring a white singlet and just some plain jeans and you guys know I always have straight hair but I actually really like it wavy right now vibing anywhere 
anywhere in the world where I would be. So lame, but where I live now, Cronulla. Like... <laughs> Don't show this! <laughs> what did you just do? Nothing. Get that up. Oh, wipe that with it. Okay, guys. That was a joke, just making sure you all know how to use it. <laughs> you, you all passed. What did I say tell me to do that? Um, yes, you passed. I'm so excited to eat the platter. It's almost oh, wrapped for the day and then tomorrow I've got to come in and show like the after. Look, it's like glowy. I really like this. What's your thoughts on the color? I love it so far. It's gonna get even darker. This is why I bring you to fun things. <laughs> You're a thinker, you got an umbrella. So that was fun, those girls are so nice. Our so people, kind of our people. Our kind of people. I really had no reason to be nervous, hey? No. They were so nice and like made me feel really comfortable and they were like body positivity and it was really nice. Now I've got to come back tomorrow and show like the after tan. I've got to like wash it off in the it morning. It looks really good though. It already looks nice and glowy. All right, day two of the shoot. And my tan actually worked out really good. Wow, I have abs today. What the heck? I did train abs yesterday. I feel like the day after I trained abs, they're like a bit swollen. Kurt wanted to come on a morning adventure with us because you guys know Kurt and I normally spend like most days together. You are missing me. That's why you want to come get coffee now. Yeah, and I'm not happy about it because we're going to a coffee shop that Sarah likes and I don't like going there. <laughs> okay, so Kurt was having his little boo-hoo cry about the <laughs> coffee shop. He's like, I want to go to this other one so I'm like fine and he's like what I was like okay it's fine we can go to a different one <laughs> you're like well drive there then <laughs> like, I don't care. yes you guys you guys think I'm the high maintenance annoying one no, it's him no only in the mornings when it's about my coffee order people know when they hire me for a photo shoot <laughs> That they need to feed me straight away. Yeah. Otherwise, they know they're not going to get the best, best Kurt. You're a diva <laughs> photographer. That's who you are. Goodbye, Seed Princess. Get my coffee. Bye. Don't get too wet. Hi. Are you talking? <laughs> All right. Go on. Chew on your blanket. Finally, I'm so parched. Parched. Yes. Well, then you shouldn't be having coffee if you're parched. I'm parched. This is going to parch you more. I like this. <laughs> Just stealing um, everyone's no. fruit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hair and makeup is done. I forget if I told you guys yesterday, but in like the midst of the food mecca once we finished filming yesterday, I realized I forgot to tan my back. What did Pia say? Pia said it's like the Friends episode where Ross tans the front of him and doesn't get the back of him. Oops. That's what I feel like. I'm like Ross from Friends right now. Can you come here and show me your back? Oh my gosh, Like in so the bad. light? But this just shows that it works, you know, before and after. Oh my god. We just forgot. Like I got home and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so stupid. You should It's a nice cut. Like this is what my skin does look like in summer, but um winter v summer. Two tanning ingredients and like I said, is infused with argan oil. So it's going to help maintain your tan for up to 10 days. I also do like to moisturize on top every day or every second day just to keep it looking golden and sun kissed. <laughs> We're just talking about um Aussie slang because you're from the UK yeah. and just like Stuff that we think is normal that they don't say over there, like reckon, duna, duvet. Duna, Do you say heaps? heaps? No, not really. What did you just call a backpack? A rucksack. <laughs> oh, a rucksack. <laughs> Do my rucksack. I love that so and much. Like, he's so fit. Yeah. Oh, she oh says, like, I love that. I'm not like, he's so fit. He's well fit. Kurt, if you're watching this, you are well not fit. <laughs> no, nah, you're well fit. I love it. Instead of saying, like, oh yeah, he's hot, it's just like classy. Well, he's well fit. Oh, does it, don't Americans say like, they don't say see you later, you go see you later, they're like, when? No, 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 no I'm just saying. Yeah, see you Going. later. Bye. Uh, milky boobs. <laughs> this is what happens when you haven't fed for like three hours. So Kurt is gonna feed Fox the express milk in the freezer and then I'm gonna go home and whoosh, explode. It's like exploding milkshake. But we're gonna do my back now. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> so good. This is the highlight. Gluten-free wrap, roasted cauliflower, salmon, salad. In a food coma now. I ate so, I had like three mounding, like Big three mama. mounds. But we had such fun time, like the girls there were so nice and I'm really glad I did it. After shoots, I just can't wait to go home and like get on my makeup off and like exfoliate. As pretty as this is, I just want to put a good face mask on. Okay, I know at the beginning of this vlog, I kind of went into like my relationship with my body right now and how I was feeling a little bit nervous for the Bondi Sands shoot. I thought I would end this vlog with just kind of like a heart to heart with you guys because I feel like we haven't had a lot of DMs lately. And although there's been like a lot of chatting in this vlog, I just want to tell you guys exactly how I'm feeling. <sighs> 
I don't even really know where to begin and I have like no structure for this. I, every single day is different for me, especially like with this whole postpartum journey. As positive and happy and confident as I am, like most days I am. I'm like confident, I love my body, I practice loving my body and it just doesn't come naturally. Like. It's something that I've really had to work on, but I'm not going to lie if I say that I don't have down days or I don't have days where I don't feel super confident in my body. I really try to exude confidence and act confident because it makes me feel confident. Way before I got pregnant, my most shredded toned physique ever was this here. So a few years ago, that is what I looked like. I've been really open and honest about that time of my life and I've said that I didn't have my period then. I didn't sleep. I had major night sweats. My hair was so thin. Like I would have chunks of hair falling out. And I also had no life. Like I would go to the gym for minimum two hours a day. This is when I went through my breakup. A lot of you guys have been with me since like a hundred subscribers even. So you guys know my past. So I, before Kurt, I was in a long-term seven year relationship. But when I went through my breakup, I didn't even know who I was. Like I didn't know what life was like being single. So I just kind of like threw myself into the gym and it was just like my release time and the one place that I wasn't thinking about my ex and being single. <gasps> Fox just woke up, BRB. Did he come in this shot? <gasps> so that time of my life was just like not maintainable. Then I went through a balance stage and then I got pregnant. I had a pretty good pregnancy. Like I maintained my fitness. I was just like being really gentle and kind to my body the bigger my bump got. Cause you were in my belly. Did you know you were in my belly? What do you think about that? I wish you could tell me that would be so cool. And then after having Fox, I made a conscious effort to love my body, not scrutinize myself and not like talk negatively to my body and as hard as it was some days I just you know would look at Fox and be like oh my gosh I'm just so lucky. I would be lying if I said that I never scroll back to my photos of when I was super lean and compare my body to then. This is just me being honest and it's so stupid like I know it is bad for my mental health to scroll back and look at those photos and I don't know why I do it like we all do it. Yeah, I don't ever want to sit here and come across like I'm perfect and like I'm always confident and I'm always loving my body because like sometimes I find myself in bed scrolling back to my shredded photos wishing my body looked like that and it's just like so dumb and it's just not maintainable, not sustainable. I'm never going to look like that again. I don't want to, I don't want my body to be suffering like that again. Like I said at the start of this vlog, I wanted to do this Bondi Sands commercial thing collaboration for myself and to show myself that I can love my body and be proud of my body and be confident in my body. But there is a but. So I got the content from the Bondi Sands shoot. I looked at myself and I was just like really down on myself. And like I even hate admitting that because I want to exude confidence to you guys and I want to be a positive role model and I want to show you and I want to be the example to love your body and love yourself and be confident but I just want to be honest at the same time as well and show you guys that even me like even I have moments where I doubt myself or I'm like not confident in the way that I look. I kind of just had a moment where I was like, what? Like, why am I trying so hard if I'm not getting anywhere? It was really stupid to think that because, you know, I have been documenting my process and my body has come so far since having Fox, like it really has. It's just that I haven't really done a campaign like that, like a bikini shoot since being super shredded. So subconsciously, that's what I was comparing myself to. I really wanna be the healthiest, happiest version of myself. And I know that's not me being super shredded because let me tell you, being shredded and crazy toned is not the key to happiness. Like some days are good, some days are bad. And I feel like that's a lot of us. You know, you have days where you're like, oh my gosh, like I'm killing it, woohoo. And then the next day you just wake up feeling a little bit like, I'm just telling them, I'm debriefing about Bondi Sands shoot and how like uh. I'm trying to be that confident person, but like I still go through phases where I like look at myself and I'm like, you, you train really hard and what you see in that video is not actually what you look like. Like In the Bondi Sands one. Like what do they say? Like you, you add five kilos on video or something like that? I don't want to say that to be like... like I know, but like it, it is the truth. I like, know, I know, but I don't want to be like, oh, just by the way, I'm five kilos lighter than what yeah, you see. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be like that, but like, it is true. No, no, <laughs> no. Even Kurt as a guy goes through days where like... I'm always looking at other people's photos being like, far out, why do I not look as good as that person or this or that? Yeah. And like looking back on photos of myself and you, you look back at photos of yourself in your yeah. peak as well. Like it's. I said that. I was like, why do we do this? I even just admitted I was self-destructive for me to do that now because like... Well, you need to understand you're a mother now. I 
and like oh, well, I I'm need to dad. make milk, you know. Yeah. I need to have that extra body fat. Gotta look to after make the this milk. boy. It's not about having a six pack anymore, mate. It kind of is fun having boobs <laughs> as well, you know. You He'll be shredded. He'll be like that that twelve year old boy that you see on the news <laughs> with like abs and yeah, yeah flexing. No, no, no. I always want to keep it one hundred percent real, authentic, and honest with you. And some days I'm loving my bod. The other days I'm like, I'm a sack of potatoes. We all go through it though. We all go okay. through it. If you like these like honest vlogs and just like random snippets of my life, then please give it a thumbs up, give it a like because it really supports my channel. And make sure you subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. Anyway guys, alright, you're gonna punch the camera goodbye? Nah, he does that all the time. Dad's punch gonna him. do it. In a sec. No. <laughs>